Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to this other um, haunted house on Raymond and take a look and see what's going on over there. Yeah, pay you go up in there. Well, well, let's go take a look and see who, how, how many people are outside. Okay. Sometimes you can tell whether it's worth it or not. The other one probably was really good. A lot of people was outside. They lined up here. Yeah, that one doubled. Yeah, it was. It yeah, they doubled the price because it's close to Halloween. Right there. That one. Go down the alley. Hey, what's up, bro? What up? What's up? What you saying? Yeah, what's happening? So come on down. We collect the money here. Come on down. Jamma jamma. With Halloween just a few days away, me and my family decided to drive around Pasadena, California to check out certain events and venues that represent the Halloween holiday. My family and I came across Dia de Muertos, which means Day of the Dead. It is a Mexican holiday celebrated throughout Mexico and around other cultures. The holiday focuses on gatherings of family and friends that pray for their recent family members, friends, who have recently passed away. The offerings would feature skulls and certain flowers that will represent their family and pay respect towards the dead. My family and I came across the Zona Rosa Cafe, which features artifacts and paintings of local artists and family members and friends to represent their family members and the deceased. Normally, the celebration would take place on October 31st and will last through November 2nd. It is also called All Hallows Eve, All Saints Day, or All Souls Day. About 10 miles from the Pasadena Playhouse District, in a small town of South Pasadena, was the Theater of Terror Haunted House. You know, you may go in, but you may not come out. <laughs> this haunted house was rated one of the best haunted houses in California. It took me an hour before I can take my seat and enjoy the show. In a group of seven people, we walked through mazes and graveyards through the spooky Tower of Terror. Don't let the clouds get you, they're evil! Next time I'm bringing a flashlight.
Oh, so far, I'm okay, still alive. <laughs> Thanks, but I already have enough craziness in my family. So far, I did make it out alive. It was an enjoyment, so if you have children, it will not be too gruesome for them for Halloween. This year, I made my own top 10 haunted houses of 2013. Number 10 is Disneyland, the Haunted Mansion. Number 9, Revenge of the Ninja Maze in Torrance, California. Number 8 is the Tower of Terror in South Pasadena, California. Number 7, the Empty Grave Haunted House in Anaheim, California. Number 6, the Doll Factory in Corona, California. Number 5, Universal Studios Horror Nights in Studio City, California. Number 4, Heartstoppers Haunted House in Sacramento, California. Number three, the Haunted Hotel in San Diego, California. Number two, Forest of Lost Souls in El Dorado Hills, California. Rounding off the top spot is Halloween Horror Nights in Hollywood, California.